and your eye makeup. Give it up for Natalie's eye makeup, everybody. <laughs> I, oh my God. Oh, they're clapping Thank in the studio. Oh, oh. Putting it together. Oh, what? oh my Tears God. Tears are so Tears the clown next. It. Yes. Uh, I unintentionally dressed as our logo. I didn't mean to. It's the same colors. You know, it's the universe. Hello. But I'm, I will say, oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm drinking coffee tonight. No alcohol because I'm pregnant. Just kidding, I'm hungover. With emotion. <laughs> um, I'm Natalie Jean, you're Amber Nelson. I'm only, as Jackie Zabrowski says, dressed up from the breast up. Ooh. I have this on the bottom. Look at how you're just doing your leg like that. Wow. Talent. T that's talent. Also, speaking of talent, if we get a hype train in the house, I'm going to shave my mustache. So let's get a hype train going. Here we go. <laughs> Tears was excited. <laughs> Give it a Gillette. They sponsor us. Not yet. Hopefully, Not yet. after this stream, they how they can't say no. <laughs> Sub to shave. Well, we've got a lot to talk about today. Some <laughs> oh, good, man. some bad, some ugly. Yeah, um, this is our first uh, weekly stream, and this stream will be uploaded to our podcast feed as well, so you might be listening there. We are still going to have a formal season, but in between, we figured we'd pop it onto the podcast feed, because I know some of you like to listen to it, um, and not look at our amazing faces. Right, my yellow ass teeth. Looks like Don Beatty's 151 gifted a bunch of subs. Keep seven, baby. Oh, Mustache shit. time. <laughs> um, I, for one, cannot wait. You, although I, I, am I supposed to say that your mustache is thick because I don't see a mustache, or should I say like, oh, get that mustache off of here. Get out of here. I, I, um, I put makeup over it, so you might not. Oh. Really? But it's got some whiskers. I don't know. I don't know. I don't see it. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you wanted your mustache to be shown better. Um, uh, yeah, so we're going to weekly, and uh, unfortunately for all of us, there's just a never-ending supply of Horrible news people. stories about missing and exploited women and children, and sometimes men as well. Um, that really doesn't seem to uh, stop, so that's right. great for us. Um, I have a couple I know I want to talk about today. I know you wanted to bring some stuff up, but I thought maybe I'd start with the worst one because we can just do it at the top. Right, get it over with, rip off the Band-Aid. Not yeah. let's not crescendo with it because it is horrible. Mm. Um, it is a story that's going on right now. It is about a, uh-oh. Hype train incoming, chugga chugga choo choo. Is okay. this um, in... Bad taste. Well, I'm, I didn't start it yet, so it's not. <laughs> it's not in bad taste. You have a limited time to earn excessive emotes. Okay, so we're 22 percent. We got four minutes and 37 seconds. Make sure you sub and you get to see me shave my mustache, oh, everybody. No. Maybe I shouldn't start with this. <laughs> <laughs> Should we start with mine then? Hmm. Let's start with um, the second one. Let's start with. How about we start with the paddling story? Great. Um, if you guys might have gotten that link, if you're not, don't worry about it uh, over there behind the scenes. I sent it in the second email. 100%. All right. Here cool. we go. Oh. Hype train. All right. It's All time right. for the mustache. All right. Well, this, is, uh, this takes precedence. Man, I can't believe how yellow my teeth are. I need to get them. Whatever. Who gives a shit? Who cares? My yellow ass teeth and my beard. All right. <laughs> here we go. I think anybody's teeth looks uh, like less than white with... Barbasol or Gillette or whatever the fuck this is uh -huh. next to it. Oh, it smells fun. If your teeth were that shade of white, it would look terrifying. You would look like a, a creepy pasta. Right. And so, <laughs> creepy pasta. Something I don't like in the entertainment world is how everybody just has these fake looking teeth now. I want to see the real deal. Here we go. There it is. Oh. Uh, oh, there she is. I see her now. There's the girl. There. Is this the actual process? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got little mustaches on here. Oh my god, is this gonna be on me the whole show? <laughs> what the crumb? Look who didn't think things through. All right. Oh no. 
Is this how you do it? Uh huh. I don't know. And it's shaved. Oh my God! Look wow. at her. Oh, she's like a little newborn baby. I'm just a beautiful girl. I'm so beautiful. You should see me shave my asshole. With if the you same don't razor. clean that off, and people tune in later, they're gonna ask some questions about what is all over your face, girl. What is this? Ooh, it stinks. Well, that was fun. You know, um, we we make lots of jokes about like white splotches looking like cum, but cum doesn't really come out like that. Cum? Like it, bright white. Right. It's more like a clear. Yes. I would say if your cum is white, you're probably like Casper. Aw. Even though he is a child. Oops. No, he's at this point, he's hundreds of years old. Oh, right, right, right. So it's okay to objectify him? Yeah. Take off your clothes, Casper. <laughs> okay, yay. It's all, right. all fresh and clear. Look at it. Wait. There we go. Look at mm, mm. Mm, mm. Fresh. New girl. Is that a baby? Is that a toddler <laughs> sitting it's next a toddler. to me? <laughs> um, well, you're beautiful. I thought you were beautiful before, but um, I'm glad that you um, feel empowered. Fresh. Right. Empowered, yet empowered. When I make promises, I keep them. All right, so let's talk about this. Um, I find that to be true. <laughs> Look at you with your American doll makeup case. Oh, right. How did you get it? My ex's mom gave it to me. Oh, I should weird. get rid of it. Should I get rid of it? Let's nah. make a poll. No. Look at my face. You well, look beautiful. Well, oh, sorry, so much going on. Maybe we should. I put makeup on while you keep talking about the thing. You do it. Okay. Um, let's start with the paddling one. This is less dramatic right. uh, than uh, the other ones. The paddling story is about. Guess where it is? Florida. It sure is. Fuck yeah. Where most of our stories are from, uh, in general, and also tonight. So this is a story that was on the news the last couple of weeks. There was a, an 18-year-old senior in high school whose name is Brooklyn Daniels, who was paddled by the principal and the vice principal, both dudes, um, because she, I think, spoke back or something. She is like a, an honor student. She participates in school and all that stuff. She does all of the things you're supposed to do in high school. Uh, did something like egregious in very you know minor terms, and then her uh, allegedly her high school principal told her she had the choice of either getting an in school suspension or getting paddled because it is still legal in Florida to paddle children. I mean, they paddled in my school. I can't. You told okay, so you told me this. We got paddled, and I, I was my mind was blown, but you. Said it just it was just normal. I didn't even know that it wasn't normal. Right. Well, my aunt was the principal, so she would like she had the paddle above her desk. I never got paddled, but I did get to choose like paddling or in school. But she would put it on the um, speaker. So sometimes we'd have like a morning announcements, and you'd be like, and here's Timmy who came in, kept coming in late and talking back, and then she'd fucking paddle him. But here's the thing, I don't. That's not like it. I don't like it. But some kids are fucking bad. You know what I mean? But did that, that didn't stop them. That did not stop them right, from being bad. All it did was give them a fetish. Like right? literally, I'm not even joking. It most certainly gave them a sexual fetish, and it did not prevent their behavior. There's no way that works. I guess we'll have to see long-term repercussions, but you I know. think we have been seeing. If you look at boomers, they were all battled. Right, they're just like full of lead and hate. They really are. Uh, I didn't know that this still happened. I didn't even know it happened when we were kids. That's crazy to me. Uh, I I don't know how that's legal. We and have another hype train. Do you want to spank me, Natalie? I uh, is that wait? That's bad. I never know what's harassment. I mean, sorry. If I haven't sued you for harassment yet, it's not starting today. <laughs> Um, I, uh, what the fuck? What are we doing as a society that this is happening still? So I guess in some states, I, Marcus says he was spanked in high school, Doma, Bet, Doma Beatties 151. I haven't heard him say that, but I believe it. Uh, the school I graduated from in Missouri recently brought back paddling Zigarius. That brought it back? Let's bring it back. So it got taken away, and they returned it oh, in like it's the Sprite year Zero of our Lord, twenty twenty four. What? All of you had paddling at your schools? Yeah, Natalie's like uh, shocked, and what we're all over here like, yeah, fuck? we got spanked. How? Uh, uh, okay, Zig Zigarius. How can they lay hand on eighteen year old even with parental permission? You're an adult. Okay, f first on that. 
apparently the parents all sign off on like all of the allowances in the school and there's literally a thing on the sheet that says can i spank your baby <laughs> can i spank your kid and the mother wrote no so regardless of whether or not she was 18 years old um that was not the the wish was not obeyed and uh yes i think her being 18 it definitely shouldn't be legal, but I think when she's in that position as a high school student, she doesn't know any better. She's like, they're the principals, I'm a high school kid, I guess right. that I do this. And she also said that they were laughing at her. Oh. And they made her bend over the desk. Oh, that's the thing. Yeah. yeah. You can't, that's a fetish now, and that's assault. Yeah. No. I think in general, it's really weird that you would want to slap anyone's kids, but especially not even your kids right my granddad spanked my mom when she was 22 years old and he said that she was like that was the last time i was spanked and then i went into your father's house or something that's just kind of like old school spank these girls for talking back i'm you know you know we call a lot of stuff old school that's just get like molesting people Right. That, that's old school, I guess. I guess, like, how far back we going old? Like, should we bring back the guillotine? How about a rock, you know? Man, so people can still get slapped in school. Yeah. I want to find one person that was spanked in school and went, from that day forward, I put my nose to the books and I graduated and now I'm, I cured AIDS. <laughs> I became a stable member of society. No, I don't know. Because it teaches you fear, you know? And it's humiliation. You get, I'm saying, I'm saying it's a fetish. I mean, you're getting humiliated on a private part of your body in front of people who are like not, you're not consenting with it. Like, what do you, what do you think's gonna happen? What the fuck do you think's gonna happen, guys? <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I cannot believe this is happening still. I can't believe that was normal in your school. And yeah, spicy mangoes, the nuns for me, they love bringing out the rulers. And I know there's all of those horrible stories about like Catholic schools and private schools in that way. And I, I also understand that that's just as horrific, but for some reason to me, that seems more normalized than in public school and it shouldn't be, but I'm more horrified. I shouldn't be, but I'm more horrified by the public school thing. Oh yeah, that's Penny Lane Zero at Sex says, I was paddled in fifth grade for saying the word fart. And, and? I know. How, um, how do you feel about it? They'll turn Mormon. <laughs> Did you never fart again? Did you never say the word fart again? Oh, yeah, all spanking made me. Do you get a boner me, when you say the word fart? When you say the word fart. All spanking made me do is like fear for my life, like contacting my boss to ask for a raise. You know what I mean? Or like be afraid to like have any sort of pushback on anything. Well, I guess technically it worked then for their agenda. Right. Which was to make you just submit at all times. Cower with fear. No, that's totally true. Um, what did your mom do at 22 to get spanked? Talking back. It's just talking. You're just talking back. You Man, and it's just, it's just so normalized that you respect your parents and that. Because you, you could just go like, no. No. I mean, my Get mom, away from me. Get away from me. My mother did tell my father, you get one hit and you'll never see me again. But at that time, spanking, the husband spanking the wife was also normalized. And that's also normalized in a lot of church groups it today. It still is. Yeah, IBLP, it's still really common. If my husband spanks me, you better keep going. <laughs> it's a fetish. <laughs> but you still want it to be, like, enthusiastically consented. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want it to be no. when he's mad at you. Right. Yeah, yeah the anger. Bend over. Um, okay, well, that sucks. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully, I don't know, This I really appreciate this, this teenager and her mom coming forward and talking about it because I think it should be addressed, and I don't understand how this is still happening in any school anywhere, uh, regardless if it's public or not. Right. Um, Coco B94 Public Schools doing it weirds me out more. I think because there's no real choice if you and if you go in there with private schools it feels more like there's at least an option to go somewhere else if it happens yeah I think that's what it is it's like public school is for the public it's meant to be where you take your child without paying or going through hoops like that's your government school that shouldn't exist it's crazy. Mindful Minerva. My kids got spanked in elementary, but principals didn't do it in front of everybody. They always stuffed their back pockets to soften the blows. Well, that's nice. 
they didn't do it in front of other people I guess so they wouldn't that's even kind of scary in a different way though so then you were locked into a room with an adult man and he slapped you around (laughs) Jesus what are we doing Um, okay on that note um, let me talk about another Florida story that is happening currently that is super upsetting it's really awful Um, that doesn't even really cover what it is but it's Related to missing and exploited stories, however, this little girl, Madeline Soto, was considered missing until last week. Um, They did, in fact, unfortunately, find her body. It was right after her 13th birthday. And she lived with her mother and her mother's boyfriend. And I first want to play for you a video, if you haven't watched or know about this story. This is when she was still considered a missing person. So Madeline, who's 13 years old, is missing. Her mom and her mom's boyfriend are interviewed when they're saying they're trying to find her. So I want to play that those videos for you now. We dropped her off at school, close to school. Um, she wanted to walk the rest of the way. She was uh, spotted walking. Uh, by the church by the middle school uh, on the cameras they saw her hang out in the parking lot for a little bit and then get up and leave they didn't see a vehicle or anything else they just saw her walk away uh, around 9 a.m heading towards the school but she never made it what was the last thing i guess that the conversation that you two had you and your daughter um we spoke about her birthday party she had a birthday party on sunday uh she had a great time uh, I couldn't make it because I was working, but she had an amazing time. She was so happy with all her gifts. Uh, I, I told her good night, and um, yeah, that was it. I, I, I was the one who took her to school in the morning. That was my partner. Um, but yeah, in my heart, I feel like somebody took her. This isn't like her to just pick up and run away um, or just not go to school. Um, I don't know know what to think. She was last seen wearing a green hoodie, black shorts, white Crocs, a black Jansport backpack with gray hibiscus flowers on it. She got dropped off in the morning. We did not notice until after school pickup at four, at four o'clock when I went to go pick her up and she wasn't at school. So that's the mom. You want to go right to the, the second part? Did it, did it go through? Did the husband? Oh, no. That's all right. Oh, so her... The, uh, no, sorry, did the other section of that video go through? Oh, I'm not sure. That might be right. It should be right on the second part of that same video. Um, spoiler. <laughs> so her her boyfriend has now been arrested um, for over 60 counts of CSAM. Did he um, say he, like, wiped his phone? Like, the cops were like, we're going to need to look at your phone. He's like, oh, I, yesterday I actually did factory reset settings. You know, like how you do. Yeah. <laughs> never mind. But, they, fe- you know, you can never delete something. It's going to be somewhere forever. And they found it. Yeah, they did. And exactly. He, um, his name's Stefan. Uh, what's his fucking last name? We dropped her off at school. Sorry, do you want to still hear this? Yeah, do you want to see if that, that his, his video's on there? Sure. At the end of hers? We dropped her off at school, close to school. I saw her. The other thing looked fine when I drove away. It's the last time we saw her. What were the conversations that y'all had in the car when you dropped her off? Not much. She was asleep for most of the way. Told her have a good day at school when she got out. I love her. She said, thanks. Love you, too. That was it. And so where, where, where do you think she could possibly be? I mean, this isn't, as I was told, this isn't normal behavior. This is not normal behavior. She's not the type that would just run off. We don't know where she can be. We're scared. We just want her home. Are you, in a sense, blaming yourself? It's hard not to. It just keeps coming in waves. This is the reality keeps hitting. We don't know where she is. You know she's safe. 
And we're just scared. We just want to home. Conflicting reports here and there. People say they see this or that. None of it's conclusive and none of it's helpful. Wow. Um, so that creature is named Stefan. So uh, what's his last name? I just saw it. And I ignored it immediately because I hate his face so much. Stephen Stern, Stefan Stearns. His name is Stefan Stearns. Um, he after so this was that interview was going on while she was actively a missing person even though at that point he at least him perhaps the mother as well knew she was um she's she had died she was murdered um she had there, there's still a lot to be uncovered so this is still an ongoing case however they're holding him in jail because in the investigation like amber was just saying he handed his phone over to the police because that's what happens whenever a kid goes missing. Usually the family is like, can we go through your records and all that? And he went, yeah, for sure. Um, but the thing is like, I, uh, I accidentally set it to like the factory setting yesterday. So it was like this thing, like I messed up, <laughs> but like you can have it, like I had nothing to hide. And I think he thought that if he did that, all of the data would go away somehow. And of course it didn't. And they uncovered years of videos of him assaulting her. Um, his charge, there's over 60 counts right now, so he's in jail even though they haven't directly tied him to the murder. Um, her body was recovered, and it the, the charges themselves start out the videos that they were able to recover are from 2019, which would make her eight years old. Disgusting. He's, and now she's an adult, so he might have got rid of her because she might tell. Well, she's not an adult. She's 13. Oh, I'm sorry. But she's getting older. You yeah. Know? She, was hitting, she was hitting puberty. She was probably getting to an age that was a little dangerous. We don't know. I'm speculating purely what, what happened. But he um, did something to her. Uh, I can say that. Uh, for sure, even though I'll say allegedly because he hasn't been charged yet. He has been charged, or he's a, he's facing charges of 60 counts CSAM, and it is just like, all of those are videos and pictures and, and stuff of this little girl um, who has essentially been tortured for the last five years. And right now, the it's sort of looking towards the mother going, what does the mother know? And she has not been charged with anything yet. She is lawyered up. She's not speaking anymore after that um, in one interview. Yeah, so Doma Beatty's 151, the, you think he got her pregnant. Maybe that's a, that is definitely a theory that people have. We'll find out. The autopsy may or may not be released to the public. It's uh, still, I think, ongoing at the time. I, 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 as she's a minor, I don't know if we're ever going to know all the details, which is okay, of course. Um, Sari streams, so they didn't inform her. Her daughter didn't make it to school that morning. The school did not, actually. Um, so she's lying the whole time? Well, so there's inconsistencies for sure with the mother's story. The school actually had a thing that they're set up, I guess, they're like auto calls, weren't going to parents' homes until the end of the school day. And so when she didn't show up to school, there wasn't a phone call saying that. So they're now changing that system around so that in the morning, if the kid isn't appearing, then they, the family gets a call. In this instance, it probably doesn't matter. Um, in my own opinion, I, I do think she's probably covering for him somewhat. I don't know if she knew what he was doing specifically, but I have a really, really hard time my, wrapping my mind around her not having any understanding that something was happening. She had to have, she probably blamed her daughter too. I have a very negative outlook on the mom right now, so I don't want to say my true feelings because we don't know what she knew. Oh, yeah. But I don't, I can't, how would you not know something was wrong if he was that, doing that much to her? Because right. this was constant. Like, this was years and years of it. And you change in attitude, change in behavior. Yeah. And so... That's really frustrating, and I, I keep coming across these stories, which are not new. They, they've happened since the dawn of time, and it's not fully gender-related, but there is, a, more statistically, mothers who bring in partners who abuse the kids in the home. 
Um, somebody was, it's a legal term, but I, I really like it. It's called a mother's paramour, which is like a live-in boyfriend or, or partner, but not somebody who's really the, the, the step-parent. Mm -hmm. And it often is more to benefit the mom than it would help the family, if that makes sense. So, Oh, because she has a boyfriend now? Yes. So this is a phenomenon that it happens a lot. I don't know if this is what happened with Madeline's mother, but there will be a sort of like, na 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 la 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 la. I need a boyfriend, so I'm just gonna do, 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 do. pretend it's not happening and know something's off, but just denial, denial, denial because the need to have attention from a guy is more important than your child's safety or happiness or comfort. That is so sad. Yeah. That and, is so sad. And those kind of guys, this dude specifically is the, for sure this kind of guy, targets mothers, single mothers with low self-esteem. That's just the truth. They look for women who have young children who feel bad about themselves and approach them with this angle and I do think that's what's happening here I'm just guessing we'll, we'll hopefully learn more or we don't need to know unless you know I I'm saying it we don't need to know as long as justice happens but um, I do feel like that might be what's going on here yeah, at least she has a man um, and yeah. I think the death penalty is in Florida if you if you abuse sexually a child, right? Yeah, a, Italian Boots just signed into law. If you uh, SA somebody under 12, you are eligible for capital punishment. I'm against the death penalty in all cases, uh, but now his legal team will be dealing with him potentially being put on death row because he started assaulting her when she was eight. It was her 13th birthday, the day that he did whatever he did. Um, however, that law wasn't put into place until just recently. So now there's going to be this gray area of like, well, he broke this law, but it wasn't in place when he was doing it. <laughs> um, but I don't I don't actually believe in death penalty anyway. I think okay. it would be, it's too easy to let him just go t to sleep. Penny Lane 086 um, says, this is why when you're putting selfies on dating sites, leave pictures of your kids out of it. That is great advice. I personally don't have a kid. I'm also not on dating sites, but I would no, say if I you do. I absolutely agree with that shit. Don't put your kids anywhere on <laughs> I, I get really, all of our friends now with kids, I just, they ask because we cover so much of this horrible shit. Right. And I just say, you shouldn't put much of anything, if anything at all. Don't make it no. about your kid. Don't make your account about your kid. Even if you do private friends and family, that's one thing, but it's still dangerous. And don't, take pictures in your kid's room don't show intimate spaces where your kids are because they, it's bad it's bad what, what's going on in the social media uh platforms are not protecting kids they're not doing no. anything they don't give a shit because the parents are allowing it and so the social media platforms monetize they profit off of it and they're not going to do anything about it unless we all like freak out. Yeah, um, you gotta hit them where the money hurts because like you know being like but morals the, these companies aren't going to care got to find a way to financially incentivize no money for them if people like are pedophiles are on your site yes um no yo bro i think it's inter intergenerational trauma shit yeah. I, I would say so on both sides maybe uh, again i'm being a little judgy but madeline soto's grandmother has also been interviewed and she is also kind of something's eerie about it she's just not there's no emotion Ugh. and that could just be a character trait or like a shock but i got creeped out by her interview she just didn't seem like she was she seemed like she was talking about like her neighbor's cat was missing or something oh instead of her granddaughter inner, yeah. tra inner trauma like i wonder how far it goes back like was there like what did your great 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 grandfather like did he have a good time but then like he beat his kid too hard you know what i mean yeah like who was the first one who was the first like was it great yeah. before then or what well a lot of times too it could come from outside of the house and then they bring it into their family over the generations that's true but um all, that's also i think true something must to have happened potentially maybe i don't want to stereotype because some people say it just because you 
do these things doesn't mean you were those things happened to you but i will say that steven or stefan i'm sorry his name's stefan stefan stearns is um, childhood acquaintances have been coming forward and these haven't been c confirmed but they are being reported upon by like court tv and like bigger places um that uh he was a weird kid and he used to do things like keep jars of cum um in his room whoa so he would like come and fill jars up and then just like store them around ew and that just go like, to like me this? i just <laughs> I held up the Gillette. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. I don't think his 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 sperms were lily white even back then. Um, I I do want to say like I get not everybody has like access to health care and, and mental health care and all that stuff. But did nobody in his family see that happening? And if they did see it happening, at what point do you interject? Like it's not illegal, but if a kid's doing that, that's probably not good, right? No, I think a lot of parents just like are scared of their kids and they don't want to admit it. And, and they're also, just like, get them out of the house. Yeah. And, and also, who knows what was going on in his personal life, you know? But he was also, some of the, his acquaintances also said stuff like he would, they would find out he was spying on his, their mom, like taking videos like through a peephole and Ew, stuff like that as a little kid. We have to talk about Kevin like that. Yeah, but like, more gross <laughs> that's disgusting um i work in substance abuse as a therapist and i see a lot of crossover women who have learned that they got over it and were told it's best for the family and just don't ever have the resources or self-awareness to challenge it totally i definitely think that it comes from conditioning in certain ways and accepting certain things that you have to to like survive mentally right you don't want to make waves don't make waves yeah and i have a, i have so much sympathy and some empathy for for that i have a harder time um giving grace to somebody who's letting that happen to their child right. so like i mean it is so vile like 60 counts Ugh. Um, she was a when he like that they know of it could have been b before that he needs to be set on fire and filleted i mean i'd be down for that um i thought after the eight passengers thing that more that more change would happen but i'm not seeing anything carrie joe yeah i i do think that it's going to be a ripple effect unfortunately everything that like society does for change takes years a lot of the time um as you were just mentioning, I don't want to say the little girl's name, but the, the one of the little girls who's being like really openly exploited on TikTok is being brought up again uh, a lot by by other creators and saying this is we we actually talked about her on our first parasocial series without saying her name, and her mom is like very clearly catering to like she just doesn't care. Won't even take she make, off the I mean, stitches. She's making. I can't even imagine how much money she's making. She has 17 million followers, this little girl, this, like, four-year-old. 17 million followers. And um, only, I think the mom said, when she was defending her choices, said only something like 10 or 20% were men, which is millions of people, millions of adult men. And not only that, women can also be sex offenders. Like, it's not... Whatever. I hate um, this. It makes me feel icky. <laughs> that's good. I think that's the correct response. Right. Congratulations. TikTok banning bill. Yes. I do want to bring that up. Um, real quick before we switch over, I wanted to also show you. I, I'm going to show you a picture of her. I wasn't hesitant because I don't know what it serves. I would like you to see this beautiful girl. But I also wanted to point out in this picture of her, if you don't mind popping that picture up. Um, so this is the last image of her before she was killed. Uh, her mother wasn't at this party for whatever reason, but as other people have pointed out, if you zoom in on the balloon right above her head, there is a group of people in the room with her, which means there would have been, would have been witnesses around that day. And also they all look like adults. It doesn't seem like kids are in that, in that reflection which is really hard to tell. But then if you also look in the reflection of the window to her right, there's two men sitting there and it looks like maybe the murderer or another guy is standing right next to her in a different, a different layer of the reflection. So 
there's a bunch of people at this party, not her mom. Her mom was not there, which is really bizarre to me. Um, they chose a day that wasn't her birthday to have the party and her mom wasn't there. And I just like, what, what's happening? What, what is this? Ugh. Um, that and then this other little thing at the end I wanted to put on as just a side note. Basically a day after this all came out, there was another arrest for CSAM right down the road from them. Here's a map. This is also Court TV. Vinny Palatan on Court TV was ahead of this because I, I noticed that they were right next to each other and then he found that and made the map. So Madeline Soto's home is there on the left. The middle is a home of a guy and his stepfather, an adult man and his stepfather, who were arrested for CSA and CSAM of the dad, the, the, so the, there's the father, the step-grandfather, so the father's daughter was being um, abused uh, in the home, was being sold as um, CSAM, the, grand, the step-grandfather was arrested. The father killed himself because he is a coward, like they always are. And uh, it happened, like, the day after this. And then where her body, where poor Madeline's body was found was right past. Can you put the map back up real yeah, quick? Yeah, of course. So we're looking at a map, uh, like an aerial view of Kissimmee St. Uh, was it called? Kissimmee St. Cloud, Florida. And to the right on the map is where they found Madeline's body. It is right by the other house where this, these other two men were arrested for CSAM. And so people are wondering if this is a ring, um, if there is, if they were trading material and they, that's how they found these guys, or if it was just two separate perverts, just two separate ones. I hate this. Sorry, I hate this. It does seem like Kasimi has a lot of that going on, so. We'll find out if there's any connection or if that was just they found two separate sex offenders, I guess three separate sex offenders in two days in the same area of town. Um, yeah, it took Busty Shackleford, it took two years to get Megan's Law signed into action. Unfortunately, it takes time to try and fix things co uh, completely correct. And I think that we are seeing an uprise in a anger towards the way kids are being exploited online. And I do think we will start seeing very strictly slow changes, including some of the states now have rules about at least the parents have to put money aside, which I do not personally care about as much as getting the kids off of the channels. But um, they're, they're taking slow steps. And like you said, everything is money centric. So you have to hit them where it will affect them. It's also much. hard to police, I guess. You, somebody has to look at all of the internet and be like, there's a child. Well, that's an issue because there's AI shit. There's AI issues and there's people who like, it's like a crime against humanity for people to have to like go through all of the dark stuff that comes like on. That. So that's fucked up, but AI is not doing it correctly. And the way that, I mean, we talk about TikTok. I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a complete TikTok hater. I have accounts. I do not think it's a good place, but- I like it. <laughs> I know, and I get it, and lots of people do, and people get very angry when I say that. Um, and I understand, there's lots of positive stuff on there, but there's specific you can't say the word sex you have to spell it funny oh like schmurder sh you have to do that like like i'm a child yes like they're saying look we're protecting people meanwhile people can pay parents directly for for like suggestive videos of their toddlers on that app but we can't say sex because so, we're protecting people um but <laughs> Sex offenders can definitely just pay a mom, mother directly to have their kid licking bananas in a video. Right, right. Um, <laughs> so, but they're helping, right? Because then we don't hear the word rape. So everybody's fine. We hear the word grape. <laughs> grape. Grape. See, everything's cool now. Um, yeah, and uh, Twitter or X, they're getting really religious over there. That's the thing that kind of freaks me out. So it's like one or the other. It's just like completely like, I don't understand. It's either like complete debauchery or it's just like p pilgrimism. But those things. Are the same thing? They're the same thing. They're the same fucking people, dude. They're the same people. I mean, not always. Of course, like anybody can be a predator. But right. so many of those people are the, pre pre the predators. The predators, the yeah. The predators. There's a lot of like weird, lonely guys 
who are nerds, who not not in a nerd in a fun way, nerd and like a fucking loser, and they don't know how to c- take control of their life. Um, so they they're taught that they are owed. special, that they're, they're owed, owed from mm-hmm. God because they're a guy, and, and they're yep, they're little they're special, special babies. They need so then they turn to religion, they turn to God. Sometimes they become preachers, and it's just it's scary. It's all over there now. Yeah, it is. I'm. I think this is the week I'm going to delete uh, my Twitter account. I haven't been on since last year. I hate it so much, and I think I'm going to delete my account. It just feels weird to delete something I started like 15 years ago, but right. who needs to hear my fucking little thoughts from... I don't want to know my thoughts I from 12 years ago. Thoughts. I'm sure it was nothing exciting. It was probably mostly horny or drunk. <laughs> um, and... Uh, yeah, I know that should. I mean, we should. I should document them so they can go up in the Smithsonian eventually. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I think I'm going to do it. Should I delete my completely delete yeah, my Twitter? Yeah, delete. Let's sure poll. Oh, also, I was going to run this by everybody. Henry and I have been like toying around with doing a, a stream about the Rust trial because there's a lot there, and I'm been very invested in the armorer who's who just got convicted um i have uh, you know my background in stunts and stuff and we henry and i've been on like a million sets and so we were like talking about maybe doing just to talk about it because i it's a really interesting case yeah and uh talks about like set safety which is kind of like a wild west in itself that's right poll is up should natalie delete her twitter we've got more horrible stories for you (laughs) well Let's talk about the um, the one that you found, speaking of Christian Twitter. Um, oh, right. I have a fun little video. So this is going to look fake, but it is, in fact, very real. And I found this on TikTok. Like, somebody on TikTok was like, hey, look at this. This is weird. And I was like, this is fake. And I look up, and it's very real. Let's take a peek. Oh, it's the school, the Christian Military yeah. Academy. Hello, I'm Pastor Mark Burns, founder of Burns Military Christian Academy. I'm so thrilled to announce the establishment of our new institution, a beacon of hope and opportunity for our children, designed to combat the growing influence of the woke agenda in American public schools. Our mission is clear, to provide an affordable, small classroom, pro-American education with a strong emphasis on biblical teachings. Our goal is to keep our rates extremely low so that almost anyone can afford to send their child to a safe, private Christian school. We are dedicated to instilling good morals and a love for our country and our students while ensuring that they are not exposed to a woke teachings or sexual perverted lifestyle. We are committed to providing a safe and bully-free environment as bullying, disrespectful behavior towards parents, teachers, faculties, and fellow students will not be tolerated. Join us in our mission to protect our students from harmful influences of the woke agenda and to raise them up in a nurturing, Christ-centered environment. Together we can make a difference to ensure a brighter future for our nation's children. They're dressed like Starship Troopers. If you're listening to this, they look like Starship Troopers. These are babies. Um, Yeah, you want them protected, but I don't understand, because I looked up their website thinking like this is fake, but it's real. Um, They keep saying we're not teaching the woke agenda, but it's like, but what are you teaching? Like math, science, spelling, what? Uh, Yeah. I'm Hurricane Sandy. Uh, yes, it, I don't know if they're op- they're knowingly raising Hitler Youth, or they just don't understand the irony of what what they're doing. But it does look like uh, SS little little baby SS right people, and um, also uh, the bad guys. I was trying to look up bad guys from Star Wars. I'm so sorry, everyone. <laughs> it looks like them that it does, on the, yeah. the ship. We're going to start seeing a lot <laughs> more get of this. Punched in the face. <laughs> um, 88% of chat says delete your Twitter. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it this week. It's Good. going. Get out of here. Yay. They do look like Sea Org. I think that was uh, Ash. Um, they very much look like Sea Org. Little Ash. Little right. Ash. They do. <laughs> uh, we're going to start seeing more of these now that the public school system is it's being purposely crashed. Um, you know, because the woke agenda with the kids. So we're going to start seeing more like. If you want to send your kids to a private Christian school, sure. But, like, what are they teaching kids? And also, what are they going to be like in 30 years when they're an adult? Well, I and we went to them. I looked at the website. It doesn't say anything about what is taught there. It just says, like, buzzwords like faith, cherished, right. go- safety, pure. Purity. It's $200 a month. Which is incredibly cheap and very alarming, I think, for that reason alone. Uh not because it shouldn't be cheap, but 
these kind of scams, I'm going to call it scam, um, usually are a lot more money because they want you to feel like you're investing in some big thing. And I'm just like almost more like, oh, I don't trust that you're doing this out of the kindness of your heart, if that no, makes sense. No, this is obviously backed by like CPAC or something, like people also, with a lot of money. another reason why I don't believe it is that guy who who's running it, who's, what's his name, Pastor Mark Burns? Sam. I'm going to pull his Wikipedia up. Um... You're not gonna believe this. He's a bad man? He's done financial crimes a bunch of times. Whoa. I know. I know, he was wearing the outfit, and he said, I'm, I talk to the God. He said, I do. <laughs> it's in that first email, like it's a link right at the top. I don't know if you can see it or not, but um, he has committed a bunch of financial crimes already. Wow. Take these money. But he is anti-woke, so that's cool. That's cool. I don't think any, People who are already going to participate in the school would give a shit that he is a con artist. Um, oh, but yeah. yeah, he has an Instagram oh, he account. He also lied about where he went to school. He's one of those guys. So he like claims a, a school degree, but he didn't actually graduate from there. He like went for a semester or something. He didn't do his army things that he said he did. Uh, you know, he just he did a bunch of really silly things. Oh, no, yo, Browno says that's how Epstein started too. What? Is it? Oh, like, oh, starting a school situation. He started a school? I don't know. What did Epstein do? What did he? Started he started as a teacher. He, he did start as a teacher. teacher. That's true. That's he it. He started as a teacher. You're correct. Um, financial crimes are God's plan for personal enrichment. You're right. You know, I don't know what God told him. He said he talked to him. He called him right up. Penny Lane 086 says private school teachers do not have to be degreed. That's fun. Just get these regular people teaching kids, sure. Yeah, sure, why not? Why not? Because, <laughs> I mean, it, I think it's an online school, too. So there are, I don't know if there's different rules for that in homeschool, but it kind of is the same thing as homeschool, I think. And there definitely aren't a lot of rules for that, especially, in, I think, in certain states. There's fewer rules. I just know what I know from IBLP, the, right. when we covered all that, how very little you actually need to do to prove that you're teaching your kids something. No, too woke. Gotta yeah, get it out of here. It's too woke to have anybody but you look at your children. Hopefully you're not a child molester. <laughs> um, they aren't against indoctrination of children, Zagarius. They're against children not being indoctrinated. Yes, exactly. I mean, it's the anti-woke agenda is so silly. Um, I think that he, even that guy knows that he just knows it's a, a buzzword it's dog whistles for shit and people will go like oh god it's uh, i gotta get the kids away from being woke and this guy says he's anti-woke <laughs> so i'm gonna go there and they don't question anything else about it right i went on their instagram just to see what's up and it was just a lot of quotes of like hail jesus oh yes thank god and i'm like you don't know who this guy is he, he's just saying words do you not? You gotta think past it a little bit. The I'm love of God. Fucking grift. I'm about to grift. Just say I'm, I'm anti woke. <laughs> um, I mean, there's a lot of money to be made, man. Fuck. Let's get on this. Should we start a school? <laughs> we should for for um, uh, alt kids. Yeah, for goth kids. For goth kids, the goth school. I mean, the uh, not Church of Satan. Tur Satanic Temple. Which one is it? Who they're they're doing a bunch of like outreach programs, but they're actually helping people. And they're also they've also opened one abortion center, and they're opening another one, and they're having people vote. And it's like all ridiculous names, like Satan's little fun spot for abortion clinic. You know, it's like it's just like goofball <laughs> names. Um, I'm into it. Uh, Looks Pastor like we Mark have like Burns. Four minutes left. Oh, we oh because we got okay, so we got to leave in a couple minutes because we got a tears of a clown coming. Oh wait, what's this chat? Comments. Cue you back. Um, on his website, Pastor Mark Burns label by Time Magazine is Donald Trump's top pastor. <laughs> That's awesome. And is named one of 16 people who shaped the 2016 presidential election. Great. Hell yeah. And Little Ash says she'll be a part of this Bun Academy. Thanks, Little Ash. Fuck yeah. I'll teach you how to do splits. God, I'm going to start a group. I'm just going to website. This like the unwoke website. We're so not woke. Give me money. And then just see if people will give me money for nothing. You you know, you joke, but that's really a lot of times all people are doing. <laughs> you get people. You got to make a fun hat. Got to get some good merch. Mm -hmm. um, a slogan. 
bit re real mad. Real mad. I'm so mad today. Give me money. Yeah, I could do it. People will give you money. I'm not even kidding. Um, oh, we didn't get to TikTok today. Question that's on topic, but have you read any news about the Delphi murder case? Yes. I follow that pretty closely. Um, we'll definitely bring that up. Now that we're going weekly, I know we're, I crammed a lot in there. I really want to talk about Madeline Soto because I just, I'm, it breaks my heart and I, we have to talk about the people we're letting our kids. Um, so thank you for listening to that. Um, thank you for the subs tonight. Demo Beatties 151, Zagarius, Raccoon Barbie, Morning Mel, Harry Clotter, ew, and Lord Oxium. Um, yeah, thank you guys. Uh, anybody have questions in our last moments? Oh, and we can show a silly video. Oh, yeah, so let's show a silly video. I know what's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Got his ass. You got his ass. Oh man. That didn't look like it wasn't fake. If it was faked, he did a really good fall. No, he, it was really fucking <laughs> tough up. Um, man, that hits, all, that hits different now that there's super huge high def TVs, those kind of jump scare videos. That, that commercial is so funny. What was that? Was that even a commercial or was it just like an internet thing? Well, I don't know what that was. There was a bunch of different internet versions. I don't know if that, what that was, but there was a bunch of them that went around in like 20, you know, 14 or whatever. So funny. Let's bring that back. Yeah, let's play that, let's play that video one more time. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> we can. Now let's do it. That's great. It's fine. It's great. Ah! Ah!